Now, it's no surprise to me that right now, everyone is concerned with safety, specifically within investing. And so how can we use this craziness that's happening with SVB and other banking institutions? How can we use this to make sure that we're safe in our investing, but use it to our advantage? And so today I wanted to just jump on real quick, do a quick video for you in my office hours format, which is just like when a student comes to my office after a lecture and we just kind of go a little bit deeper on a subject. So this is just my opinions and a couple of things that I'm doing and ways that I think this might help you out very much. So over the last year and definitely within the last couple of days even, stock market's been very bumpy and overall has been kind of down. If you've taken a lot of what I talk about on this channel and you've done crazy research and you've figured out a couple of solid ETFs or solid blue chip stocks, and these are the ones that you base your portfolio all around, the thing that you definitely don't want to do right now is sell. Even with all the news and analysts and everybody going around saying that it's just going to get worse, even if it does drop a little bit more, it's not like it's going to drop another 50% or something. When these people are talking about it's going to get worse, what they're saying is it might drop another 5%, 10%. And for some people, that's a lot of money that they're going to lose, but we need to keep it in perspective, especially remembering that we are down overall already. So really, the time to have sold should have been way at the top if you're that type of person that wants to sell out of your position. And you guys know me, the way that I invest is the way that a lot of wealthy people just explain, which is to just buy and hold forever. Especially if you're buying a solid ETF, something like the S&P 500, the ETF VU. Long term, it's shown to beat pretty much everything else. And that's over periods like 20 years. And so if you look back in history, you'll see that there's never been a 20 year period where it's just perfect, where everything is just sunshine and rainbows. There's always a, a couple years where we have a bad economic time which is what we're going through right now. That's important and it helps me keep my stress low because I know right now we're going through one of those times, but I also know that we're just gonna jump right back out of it. Now, a lot of people have been freaking out about SCHD specifically because it does seem to be down a little bit more than some of the other ones. But again, you have to zoom out and see it did better than those other ones. So. Just because it shows in the last like three months that maybe one ETF is doing better than the other, we have to take the whole picture into account. In my Patreon group, we talked a lot about SCHD this week and we dived deep and we saw that a little bit more than 20% of what makes up SCHD is the financial industry and a lot of it are regional banks. And so because of that, the price of the stock is getting hit pretty hard right now because everybody's scared, even the banks that aren't actually going to collapse are getting hit pretty hard. Now with the government stepping in and saying they're just going to go ahead and forgive or give all of that money back to the people that had money within their banks at SVB, and they're basically bailing out these other banks to a certain extent. As far as economically and as far as the ETF is concerned, SCHD is going to rise right back up because all of this banking concern is going to be a thing of the past in the next couple weeks. So for me, I bought 20 shares of SCHD the other day when it was closer to around $70 and I'm super happy with that purchase. So all that to say that I am definitely continuing to invest, but I do have three strategies that I think might work really well for you based off your personality. Everything on this channel, I never tell you, here's the one thing you need to do. I always give you a couple ideas or at least give you a starting point so that you can continue your research. So I hope that that's the way that you do this for today. So the first strategy that I think would be great for investing right now would be that you continue to act as if you're investing. So if you were putting $100 a month into SCHD or VU or something like that, but for right now, you're just a little bit worried about the, the where the market's at and you're hearing all these analysts say it's gonna keep dropping, that is valid. I do, to a certain extent, think that it will keep dropping a bit. Anyway, if you were doing that before, just continue what you're doing, except instead of putting that into VU or SCHD, put that into a high yield savings account at a bank that's going to be here for a while. So pick a big bank that's reputable and make sure that you're just putting that money away. Now you need to be very disciplined if you're gonna do this step because you're putting this money into the high yield savings account with the idea that that is only investing money. So either have a tracker somewhere, write it down, whatever. But at some point when you're ready to deploy that money into the investing accounts, you need to make sure and do that. 
Unfortunately, a lot of people say, okay, cool, I'm going to put this money aside and at some point I'm going to invest, but then something comes up or some type of purchase happens or you need to buy something and you're like, well, I do have an extra thousand or 2000 sitting there, I might as well just buy it. And that's the problem. We need to make sure that money gets into investing at some point. So the first strategy is to just put that money away as if you were investing it, but you're not actually investing it yet because you think it's gonna keep going down. That's one viable strategy. A second strategy that's really, really aggressive, but something that some of you may just really want to do, and it's something that I've started to do as well, is that you seek out the most beaten down stocks and ETFs. Now, when I say most beaten down stocks and ETFs, there's gonna be some that are like almost down to zero, have gone down like 99%. Don't go that route, but what I'm talking about is still in the blue chip stocks or still in the very solid ETFs, the ones that I've talked about a lot on this channel, go with those, but the ones that are down the most over the last year, maybe even year and a half. That's where I'd be putting a substantial amount of money knowing that they're already, they are good companies, they are good ETFs, so eventually they will come back up, or at least they should come back up. So if you hit them at the bottom, or if you hit them at where they're at the deepest at right now, say they're down 30%, kind of like once they just get back to where they were, you will have made 30% on your money. And usually stocks and companies don't just go back to where they were, they need to keep turning a profit, and so that means that they're gonna keep going higher. Just look at the historical chart of any of the companies that you've invested in, or any of the ETFs that you've invested in, and you'll see there are dips, but then they come back and then they keep going. Then they dip and then they keep going. That This one strategy here is to not just go with the ones that are like stable right now, but to actually be a little more aggressive and go with the ones that are down. The last strategy in number three is the one that I'm definitely doing, I haven't stopped, and that's just a dollar cost average like normal. I got into investing understanding that there's going to be some dips, there's going to be some gains, and you just have to kind of weather the storm long term if you want to do this for long term wealth building. Dollar cost averaging is when you just buy no matter what, whether the stock is down, whether the stock is up, just kind of buy at certain times of the month or once a month or once a week, whatever works best for you, maybe for your paycheck and how that works best. Right now is definitely an emotional time and it's an emotional for everybody. It's not just you, it's definitely me. I definitely think about it and I'm hearing all the noise that's out there. And so something that would really, really help you that I've seen help a lot of people is to get into a group of like-minded people that can help each other out and keep each other stable something like my Patreon group. And we meet often and do live Zoom calls where we're all having a conversation about what's going on, what are you buying. I also post updates and things that I'm thinking and things that I'm buying every single week on our group chat. And so just like I talked about before, when I bought those 20 shares of SCHD, I let them know as soon as I did it so that people can just kind of see what other people are doing. It's hard to do this whole investing thing by yourself because you get lost in your thoughts. So if that's of interest to you, go ahead and click the link down below. It's only $20 a month to be a part of this mastermind group and I'd love to see you in there. Other than that, thanks for watching and watch this video next to help keep you going on your investing journey.